All right, guys, so what heck is going on? That's right, it's me, uh, Joku, and that's I'm here, it's me, your Dragon Ball Super Car Game Nightmare Boy Boss Boy. And so today I'm gonna talk a little bit about this deck that I think is probably like, people don't really play it too much uh, because it's not really that competitive, like things can really shut it down. But you know, I like to play with my friends, I really enjoy playing with some pals the most, so uh, this deck I think is really fun to play with your friends, it's a really, really fun, you know, like bang, bang, bang shoot the guy, attack the guy, uh, kick the guy, make the guy fart from his hold and guess the, guess the, the, the play so no one can figure what's going on. So uh, one of the things I really like to do is I really like to swag out my deck box and this is my, uh, if you can maybe guess who is in this in this deck, it's a set six, these cards are from set six, but you know, about 85-95% of this game anyway is just, you know, uh, you know, you want to really intimidate your opponent and one of the best ways to do that is to have a really swag out deck box and that's gonna really scare them. So I really recommend make your dick box work swag and uh, so I'm gonna talk a couple about these guys So I think uh, you know most important this guy this game this this card is the most fun to play it If you can get it to go off and this guy is uh, Goku this like spirit, you know Goku version guy and you know I really like the way this card looks I really really enjoy this the art on this man He looks so it's so nice for the shiny kind of way that it is shiny and it's real like he's really push, pushing this to the limit you know this is you can't really sit on toilet for expect that your body's not gonna scream if you are pushing this kind of thing out your body into the into the war or into the boo into the poo poo boo poo and that's kind of what's happening with this man is you know he's really push his Valsalva is fully away and his your neck is kind of gonna pop because he's so intense it up about how he is pushing it. So this card is really cool. Basically, you, you know, you're gonna smoosh seven cards under here. And I know what you're thinking is, oh, nightmare, little Joe. How the heck is gonna get all these cards under that? Uh, this this man and that's um, you know, there's a couple of trick to it You can use this card. That's like all his friends are calling out You know all his little boyfriends are like hey pep pep. I wish you'd come back so you can play him out your door area like that and then you'll get to smoosh a card on him for that then you active main you put another guy on her head so that really helps so once you got have this guy on the board I think it's you know you can you try to get as many of these this sneaky bomb Hercule you know this smile and fart one where he's kind of like ducking and ripping like really big there's probably had he had like a really bad you know Hercule is always having a really bad stomach problem so he probably had like a little kind of maybe some old maybe pasta old and then it kind of it turns into a problem for his belly and then it's boom he's gonna blow it up and kind of what that does is when you're gonna combo with this car it's kind of the gas from this man is his back side is gonna put a car from top of your deck under this Goku so you can get a couple another you know you combo this gassy Hercule is having kind of mistake and then you're gonna get some other cards under this Goku so that kind of helps and then you know your leader and if you use that you can really get it like turn three if everything goes perfect and then you got this triple striker like third three four five forty k triple striker or something it's pretty crazy so the another kind of some of these cards that I like to play in this deck is I, I like to do this Vegito thing where it's kind of like you have this, you're gonna get this man out, this Vegito, and then when you get him out, you can kind of like tap two to send him and play this Vegito out of your energy, and then you're gonna on turn four you can tap two and play this Vegito out of your energy. And they're all kind of you know they have some pretty cool interesting style, you know, like this this Vegito is like kind of saying, you know, like I've had I've had enough, I'm I'm going to kick your thighs into the ground. So he's kind of putting, pushing his thighs down like really fast. He's coming. You can see he's coming really fast. So maybe it's that he's gonna broke his ankles if he's not gonna hit this man. So he wants to make very sure that he's gonna hit this man. Uh, you know, right in the ball, right in the kick him right there. Um, so he's really good and easily, easily way you can get him out is kind of you know you get this really pissed off Goku where Goku's kind of like I've had enough of you. Uh, taking me away from my son. I want to just play. I want to play game. I want to play camping with my son and here you are Making me mad so I have to come out here and blow this blast from my hip into your neck 
And so you can kind of play this uh, Goku, and when you play this Goku, then he's gonna get another... You can basically drop card and then play this Vegeta. And if you're using this leader, which is a good leader for to use it, when you're, you know, when you're playing this Vegeta, you have to drop card. And really easily, you can just drop some kind of one of your... Oh, that's that's negate. So you can drop like one your one your child wish, or one your desiring, you know, desireful card. You just drop it, then you play this guy from your deck, and it's, then you have them both out. And then you get this really fast kicking Vegetus. That's the one that he can turn back into candy. And then eventually you get to this Vegetus. And when you get to him, you know he's kind of like I'm uh, sick of I'm sick of you touching my myself, and I'm the only one that's gonna be able to touch myself in candy. So he kind of turns into this ball and turns into the bill in the ball in the bush, and then he's kind of bouncing and damaging. You know he's a very damaging man. Um, and then you know then he goes back, and when you play out that Vegito again, you know you get to draw all these cards off this guy. Uh, but you know, it's not really like super competitive deck. I think one of the problem with this deck is that you know one Mafub or something that gets rid of one your Vegito, like it can really uh it can put really put a kink in your plans or a kink in your ranch or your deck, and it also draws a lot, so anything that's gonna mill anything, you're basically toast. Um, not a really dangerous thing that can happen is if you get this guy out really early and then you kind of wish and you top deck Dragon Ball underneath him, like that can be pretty huge problem. So you really want to be careful with this really hard pushing uh, Goku, but he can be good if you use him right, uh, right away. And I think it's really important to use this really gas, this really bad gas stomach problem Hercule. He'll really help for make this guy actually work. And I personally like to use it with this Dindi, this little green man, alien man, young boy, you know, cause he kind of bursts too. So you may get something in your dorp that you're gonna use it later. And then uh, you can use this Goku who's cute because you can like tap some energy back and you're running mostly blue anyway and he can also attack which is nice. So uh, kind of yeah it's pretty it's pretty fun for to play it. I, I like this deck a lot. I, I run all zero star Dragon Ball and then I run two of these kind of these four star ball just because this is so much drawing that I'm usually deck out. I usually draw my entire deck by turn like 4.5 or turn 4, usually turn 4, yeah, it's pretty much I'm gone if I use all Dragon Balls, but, you know, it's risky dick, but it can be fun to play it, and especially, you know, you walk up with some really swaggedy deck in the big box, and, you know, people are gonna be spooked, they're not gonna know exactly what here. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much most of it for this deck, you know, for those of you that are returning to my channel, I, I appreciate you coming back, please, you know, feel free to smush a subscription button uh, over there, and, uh, you know, he, uh, feel free hit me up if you have any question. I love to answer any question. And I'm kind of trying, you know, some different things with these videos. So if, if you have any suggestion, I I don't really have a totally idea of what the best way to do this kind of videos is. So please, you know, drop me a line, leave some comment, tell me what you think would be good or what would be fine. Because you know, at the end of the day, I'm really just joking. You. And you know, if you're gonna come by for listen some jokes, then you know that's I think gonna be a really good time for us to have it. Um, so yeah, thanks for uh, watching my show. And I also want to say I just you know I want to make a little comment. There was a, there was another game that I came from. It's called Marvel Contest Champions, and uh, there was some really uh, problem things. I think in that community it was kind of there were a lot of uh, things that were kind of toxic, and the game had some really serious. Uh, it's really possible to get addictive really badly to a game or a video game or anything like that. So you know, if if you have, you know, if you have some friends that are kind of there that you're concerned with how much maybe they're playing this game or some other game, you know, it's it's okay to kind of see if they need help maybe or or look out to help them because it can get better. It can get uh, really serious and become really serious problem if all you're thinking about is a game all the time and. And I think one of the important things to remember is like, I, I, I really think that games are the most fun with your friends. So if you can play games with your friends, I think that's a really healthy thing to do it. Like uh, this game, for example, is really good for get some friends together and play the game, you know, interact with someone else's face near you. It's good for to be a human. So thanks for watching my show. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to uh, maybe push some subscription or smush like button and share your friend or your uncle or your grandfather's pep pep. And uh, you know, just remember that if you reach the height of your own mastery, anything can, anything for it can be possible. Thanks for watching my show. Nightmare. Dick, dicks.
Okay, so I've always been a really big fan of yours, and I was just wondering exactly what it, what's it like being the strongest guy in the, like the whole place? Like, what what does it feel like to you? You know, I don't know if you know, but I'm a huge fan of pretty much everything that you've done. I was just wondering, you know, like what's it what is it like having the weight of the world, have the weight of the world on your shoulder? What that what's that like for you? Yeah, it's really interesting. Like,